ever pondered over the true meaning behind the phrase, get on with it? Or perhaps wondered why getting together doesn't involve any physical gathering? In the world of English language, phrasal verbs, specifically those with the word get, are fascinating puzzles that we use every day, often without realizing their true meaning. Take a moment and think about the phrase, get together. It's not about physically assembling something, but rather it refers to people meeting up or spending time together. So, if you say, shall we get together on Friday for a drink? You're simply suggesting a friendly meeting, not a grand assembly. Now let's contrast this with another phrase, get on with. This phrase has two distinct meanings. In one context, it means to have a good relationship with someone. For example, if you say, it's important to get on with your colleagues, you're emphasizing the importance of a harmonious relationship at work. In another context, get on with refers to the continuation of a task or work. So if you say, I need to get on with my work, you're expressing your need to continue or progress with your tasks. Interestingly, there's another phrase that's somewhat related to get on with, and that's get behind with. This phrase means to fail to do as much work or pay as much money as you should have by a certain time. For instance, if someone says, she got behind with her mortgage and the house was repossessed, it means the person failed to keep up with their mortgage payments, resulting in the repossession of the house. Moving on, consider the phrase, get something over with. It's about wanting to finish or reach the end of an unpleasant task or duty. So, if a student says, I'll be glad to get these exams over with, they're expressing their eagerness to finish their exams. In contrast, get away from is about escaping or leaving a person or place, often when it's difficult to do so. For instance, if you say, we walk to the next beach to get away from the crowds, you're talking about leaving a crowded place to find a quieter spot. Now, what about the phrase, can't get over something? It's all about expressing surprise or shock over something that has happened or that something is true. I can't get over how much money they spent on their New Year's party, for example, expresses disbelief over the amount of money spent on a party. Finally, the phrase get away with something means to succeed in avoiding punishment for something. For example, if you say, she thought she could get away with cheating on her taxes, you're talking about someone who believed they could evade punishment for tax evasion. To summarize, phrasal verbs with get are versatile and can have different meanings based on the context. From get together, referring to meeting up with someone, to get on with meaning to continue with a task or to have a good relationship, and get away with meaning to avoid punishment. These phrases enrich our daily conversations, adding depth and color to our expressions. Understanding their meanings and usage can greatly improve not just our vocabulary, but also our grasp of the beautiful and complex English language.